this week on The Season. This early season in Kansas has been tough with the corn standing in the fields.30 in the morning. We're heading to Kansas, then out to Colorado. It's gonna be a good time. All right, we're gonna fly out of Birmingham. Let's go get on the plane. Go get some big deer. We're loaded up at the barn. It's time to head to the airport. I'm ready to touch down in Wichita. Got in, everything's cool. We got all our bags. I actually got to run up here and get my bow. We're gonna get in the rental car. We got a white new uh, Dodge. We're gonna break in for them out in the prairie. And then we're heading out that way. Gonna meet up with the boys. Cody, Doug's already out here. We're gonna have a good time. Made it out of Wichita from the airport. Good man. We're just about 15 minutes from pulling up out here at the new camp house. Man, it's awesome. It's gonna be fun to get back out here with Cody. Oh, my boy Doug Carpenter's out here. He flew in yesterday. Got a couple more boys from Panama City. Hey, we bring in LA and North Florida out to southwestern Kansas. This is gonna be awesome. Actually, just coming through Mineola right here. Right here is where I got a speeding ticket last year, so I remembered to slow down. I'm ready to lay the old boom shakalaka down on something. That's all that matters. Go pull a sample. Welcome to Mead, Kansas. We're here. What up, dog? Well, Tom. We got here seems look good. That's a fancy car for Kansas. Absolutely. We'll get her uh, dirty. muddied up, dirtied <laughs> up, and rock chipped and everything else. We'll be good to go. Hey, we're not wasting any time. I'm getting my camo on. We fixing to go hit the woods. All right. Man, it's always fun. First time you're going to hit the tree stand. We just got in, got our stuff together, and we're heading out to the west stand. on the season with Justin Martin. One little puddle out here. Bunch of gadwall and there's one drake wood duck in there. Wood ducks here just to make me feel at home. The season with Justin Martin is brought to you by Matthew Solo Cam. Catch us if you can. Yeti coolers, wildly stronger. Keep ice longer. Lead Linzer, creating new worlds of light. Leatherman, leave nothing undone. Millennium Tree Stands, comfort to hunt all day, all season. Dead Ringer Broadheads, there will be blood. Lancaster Archery Supply, offering the world's largest selection of archery products since 1983. Follow Justin on Facebook at facebook.com slash season TV.
When it comes to my equipment, I have to be able to depend on it to get the job done. Whether I'm stalking on a big muley in Colorado or at the World Championship going for the win. Dependability. That's why I shoot a Matthews. I'm gonna pull up right here in glass just a little bit before we get out and start walking down to the stand. We're gonna be in a group of trees right at the bottom of this cliff. And, uh, and oh man, one of my favorite spots. Man, that's cool. One little puddle out here. Bunch of gadwall and there's one drake wood duck in there. The wood duck's here just to make me feel at home. Like back in Bama. <clears throat> that's pretty cool right there. Kansas has been awful good to me. I shot the biggest deer of my life here a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Heck yeah, cuz. Boom. Look at those freaking brow times, cuz. Yeah. I'm looking for another one. A few deer tracks. Looks like a big old buck track out there. I'd like to see him. It looks like the coast is clear. Let's go hop up in the tree and see what can happen. We bit breezy, but I wouldn't expect anything else back out here. We got water in front of us, cut cornfield up on top of the hill. We're hoping to just catch some deer this afternoon, first afternoon back out here in Kansas. Hoping they'll just kind of filter through here and we can get, get something done. Haven't seen anything yet. Hopefully something will pick up right here before dark, but man, it's too much windy. Holy cow. Hey, look at that porcupine right there. This early season is looking a little tough. All we saw this morning was a porcupine. If we had a porcupine tag, we'd be in business, but no deer. Cody's been out here scouting a bunch, and it's tough with the corn still standing. Put you up there, and you can see that whole area. And probably, if anything, we'll be able to just be a big life. But we'll make something happen, and hey, so it's any day you start off with banana and peanut butter, it's gotta be a good day. We're gonna go sit up there at glass. Saw one deer I wanna get a better look at. And, uh, and I'll see if I can find him. Yeah, you know, it appears that we're a little bit on the stuck side right here. It rained a bunch last night and we got this little rental car. We're massaging the old Dodge Journey out right now. Enough of this playing in the mud, let's go find a deer. We're just set up right here. We're glassing that big hillside, the other side of that big canyon. Hoping we can find a volunteer laying down up there. So. Having this spot scape on this tripod sure is nice. I just need a deer on the other end of what I'm looking at. We're heading up to the hallock. The hallock is where the corn circles are. So we're going to get in the tree right below what we call the grassy draw. It's just a huge draw with a bunch of grass in it. Really tall, thick cover. Hoping to catch some bucks popping in and out of the corn right there, kind of coming down in the little canyon. We had a storm come through yesterday and right behind it was a good cold front. Maybe this will get the deer on the move. Right over there, that set of trees is where we'll be. That's below that grassy draw. That's our home for the next few hours. We just got set up in here. It's really cool. We got this real tall grass and a draw right in front of us. Standing corn to the left, got a little mile to the right. It's just a natural funnel where these deer kind of fall down in here, in and out of the corn. We're hoping to just catch a big mature buck. Hey, 
there's a dent right there. Hey, it's always good to see the first deer on a trip to Kansas. Too bad not a big old buck with her. Just a little too early in the season to expect Big Boy to be hanging out with the gals. Well, at least we saw a deer. We're moving in the right direction. We're going to leave our stuff in this tree. We're going to be right back here in the morning. Hey, don't leave where you're at least seeing deer. Next on The Season with Justin Martin. We got two right here just stuck in on us. One time, boom jack a like a one time. There comes another deer up there, another duck. True Ball's Fang Series releases and excels Armor Tech sights. That's a combination that's got me covered whether I'm chasing cobia in the Gulf of Mexico or whitetails from 20 feet up in a tree. Introducing Top Secret Deer Scents, the finest deer urine ever collected. Top Secret is the only scent that is oxygen free from collection to bottle, eliminating the ammonia smell. Use the scent that's as pure as the day it was collected and turn the odds in your favor. Fast, affordable, and incredibly light. The all new Shadow Ultralight from Tenpoint. The lightest and most compact crossbow on the market today. Tenpoint, there is no substitute. You ready? Yeah, man, what about you? Shoot ya, man. I got my bow, got my Smoky Mountain snuff. I'm ready to roll. Comes in a bunch of great flavors, tobacco-free, nicotine-free. I think this is my new hunting buddy. Awesome. It's boom shaka like a riffic, son. <laughs> We got the big old goose egg today. Hadn't seen a deer. Man, it's just, as I've said, probably 20 times already. It's kind of tough right now. So we're fixing to get down. I gotta figure out my boot situation. My boots are falling apart on me. And my feet are wet. And I'm miserable. 
Let's go grab a bite to eat. I'm gonna get some new boots and we're gonna get back in the tree this afternoon. We decided to come back in here. We just got set up. We're up back in the stand below the grassy draw. And uh, we went and checked the trail cameras earlier today and just didn't see any good bucks on them. So that tells us they're still in the corn. So the closest stand to the corn is this one we're sitting in. Like a hair in a biscuit, baby. We're hanging in here. First deer of the year, she might as well be a 150 inch buck. What the? Boom shaka like a one time. It's been almost a year since I drew the old Matthews back on a deer. It's time to break the ice. That doe's walking right up to that Luminoc land there. All right, we'll end up seeing three does. One of them did not leave. So I'm gonna go over here and get my air trailer up, and then Cody and Doug, I think, gonna meet us over here with the truck. And I'll take you to the processor. Woo! Kansas corn fed venison. It doesn't get much better than that. Oh, Uncle Ted would be proud. Let's go get my air. Oh, yeah. Old double lung delicious right there. Yeah, right there's where she ran. There's blood right there. Man, I tell you what, there's not much better eating than a big old corn fed, fat, backstrap Betsy nanny goat out here in Kansas. Well, Cody and Doug showed up to help out. She did a little curly key right here in the middle of the the uh, Milo, so. Yeah. I had to break the ice, Cass. Oh, yeah. I had to break the ice one time, man. That's right. That's how you got to do it. Kansas, first of the season. I can't help it, because I got too much Alabama redneck in me. <laughs> Plant. Can't help it. Next on the season with Justin Martin. Somebody's gonna shoot a monster out of one of these jokes. Over 30 years in the making, Top Secret Deer Sense introduces the finest deer urine ever collected. Top Secret patented process keeps these scents ammonia free and as pure as the day they were collected. Use the scent that is oxygen free from collection to bottle and see what you have been missing. The all new Venom from Ten Point. Ultra fast, technologically loaded, and ultra lethal. The premium level compact frame crossbow in a class all its own. Ten Point. There is no substitute. Surgically sharpened spring steel blades for devastating wound channels. The highest quality aircraft grade aluminum ferrules. Dead Ringer Broadheads. There will be blood. Where does Levi Morgan shop for the best competition archery products? And where does he find the latest 3D equipment? And where does he buy all of his bow hunting gear?
only at LancasterArchery.com. Ultra light, ultra fast, and ultra lethal. Ten point crossbows are the premium level crossbows on the market today. If looking for the pound for pound, dollar for dollar best value, then hunt the rich with Wicked Rich. We're back in here on what we call the West Stand this morning. We're right back to the same spot we had yesterday afternoon. We're trying to catch deer coming out of the cut corn back down in here to bed. Hopefully, they're going to be right down here in this area this morning. We'll see how it goes. seen a deer. We haven't seen anything this morning, so we're going to get down, we're going to go work on those blinds and head on over to Colorado. So I think that's a good game plan. We'll be back in a couple days here. We'll probably be hunting up on the Hallock and the Cut Corn in the afternoons anyway, so that's our game plan. Looks like the weather's going to be good and cool over there, so it's all part of it, man. Got to hang in there. We're going to get these hay bale blinds out. Maybe they'll be right for when we get back from Colorado. We're getting some blinds together. These are the hellbub blinds we'll put out in the cornfields and stuff. And man, these deer walk right up to these son of a guns. Out here in Kansas, there's no trees. So we use these hay bale blinds in the cut corn. And man, that has proven to pay off big time in the past. We're gonna get these babies put together and loaded up in a trailer go drop them off and at some point somebody's going to shoot a monster out of one of these jokers we're going to go right across the line in colorado hunt with cody's old college roommate brad me and cody both drew colorado deer tags we're going to go see if we can fill them all right we just pulled over here to cody's buddy's brad's place we're in eastern colorado Man, this is gonna be fun. We got here just a little bit too late to go glass this afternoon, but we're gonna get out and get after them in the morning. I think a lot of it's gonna be spot and stalk. So we're gonna hang out tonight. We'll come up with a good game plan for in the morning. Wish we'd gotten here about an hour ago. I know it. I know it. Next on the season. Got a big muley spotted right on top of the hill over there. Get you some. Get you some. Get you some. The season with Justin Martin has been brought to you by Heavy Metal, because I didn't come this far to miss. Bill Jordan's Realtree, family, friends, and the outdoors. Seth McGinn's Can Cooker, cater to your crowd. 
Power, style, safety, and accuracy. That's my night. Night muzzle loaders. The Wedge by Extreme Hunting Solutions. Positions your trail camera properly. Schaefer Performance Archeries. Opposition Light Arrow Rest. Closed captioning for the season provided by Hunter Safety System. Saving lives is what we do. Gear used in the season can be found at sportsmansoutfitters.com.